Hello everyone, Proxy War here, and welcome back to the channel. This is part 14. No, I lie, it's part 15 of my Atlantean campaign for Total War Rome 2 for the New World mod. And we're picking up exactly where we last left things. We have pushed Marsilia back towards Italy, sort of kicking out northern France here, um, or modern day France, I should say, so Gaul. Um, they still have some territory sort of um, north of the Alps, but we know we are we are pushing them back So that that's what counts. Um, there is a rather large force here because Plus 15 with the garrison, but they do have an army outside here So I'm planning on attacking this army drawing out their forces um, I feel like I have to go now just because if they move this army or even recruit more units or get this unit out of um, force march stance it's not going to be a good time for us. So we do have some reinforcements which we can bring in from Octuron. Um, so we're going to do that. Um, or yeah, tell them to attack like that. We've got some concentrated ground going up. So you know this is why they want to rebel. This is looking at the public order here. We've got difficulty building squalor. But the main reason is cultural differences. But we are working on that. Mm, might be able to upgrade that as well just to help that move along a little bit quicker. Um, but yep, we're going to go fight that in a moment. Let's just take a look at everything else before we do that. Um, so, we are unreliable. No one will want to do trade with us because we did break our word against Marsilia. Um, let's see if they'll take peace. You have my attention. Low, okay, so we need to defeat a few more. Um, we also had a rebellion, I believe, in the last episode, so we need to take a look at this. Um, it's going to be hard pressed to fight this in the 15 plus um, them, but we'll, we'll try and siege them out, I think. It's probably the best way. We did hire some mercenaries in order to help go up against them so we can get this army moving um, faster. Um, move these guys up a little bit so they can still replenish, but in a fortified stance if they do decide to attack us. Um, if they choose to go north, um, we do have a, a small force of six, um, which might be able to help defend that. I mean, it's got ten anyway, plus with those extra reinforcements. I think we'll be able to hold just fine, depending on how many skirmishes that army has, but we'll come back to that also. Um, we have all the spies in the north Italy here, so there's tons and tons of enemy reinforcements all over the shop so we want to try and break these uh, armies as soon as possible march down south and then take over Rome um, we have peaced out with the Sand Knights but you know we might be able to press on and just take over all of this so the Italian League, the RDI but I mean there's lots and lots of wars uh, so we'll probably stop at uh, Rome um, in the meantime sort of replenish and then go from there Alright, anyway, enough about that. Let's go in and fight. It seems to be in range, so we'll do that. They shouldn't run away. If not, we'll just siege them out. So, really, really large force. Not... Oh, they have... The reinforcing army's got lots and lots of skirmishes. Uh, we do have cav, though. Some more broken than others, but no. Um, yep, we'll get straight on into it. All right, now that we've loaded in, we'll start the deployment. And good thing too, our reinforcements are coming in from just behind us. Hmm, interesting looking map. All right, I like this sort of trees leading in towards the um, enemy there. Hmm, very nice indeed. But there's, there's some high ground here. So if we, if we take this and then push down, depending on where the reinforcements are coming from, uh, let's say spawning up there, then they'll have the high ground. But then we might have to fight them on the red line, because I'm not going to turn all my army facing that way. We'll fight them on the red line and push forward. Um, sort of caps us from um, flanking on the left, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, so, uh, again, in the meantime, we're just going to do a long line of um, hoplites, swords. I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to do like that. Citizen cavalry. Cav. Pop you there. Uh, you guys can sit there. Skirmishes in the front. Uh, keep you off that. Keep you off that. That's fine. That's everyone. Start the battle. 
Um, we're gonna wait for our reinforcements to draw up first before we do anything, so we can speed it up. Our reinforcements have arrived. Just gonna suppress that. There you go. Well, all the reinforcements. This needs to be a little bit more organized. So yeah, for, oh, see they are coming up there. That's fine. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna push up the ladder, um, up the ladder, up the hill here, and then go down. And then we have the high ground straight away. Old Cav move you into one big blob. Uh, actually, let's move you to the side. Skirmishers, double up on you. Alrighty, let's just see where this guy starts. Organize our troops. And we have the ski on here, which is our other general. We're going to pop you in there. Which means with these skirmishers, we can actually move you guys up that way. There we go. And we'll just wait for everyone to get into position, and then we'll go from there. Um, this huge clump of armies is sort of stuck. Interesting. Hmm. Very weird. Might be a trap. Might be a trap. Uh, again, let's just speed up and wait for everyone to get into position. I see and then this way we can just push down instead of up. So we're gonna we're gonna take out this blob first. Bit of strange, I don't know why that's happened, but you know it is Rome 2, lots of different mods and stuff could be affecting it as well. Come on traps, are we in position? Winded, yeah, we'll not wait for my men to get into position and we'll start moving towards. Oh nope, they are unlodged themselves, that's unfortunate. Means they uh the lack of discipline. There you go, give the orders to claim the hill and move up. Uh, no need to run though. The march continues. It's going down the hill now. Once you claim it, they sort of reshuffled and everything. So, what can you do? Can't see them. There seems to be a bit of a dip. So our vision is not as great as what it should be. We can maybe do some scouting with a uh, unit of cavalry, um, which um, there you go. Got you guys. Let's go for the smallest one. Let's get you running. Ah, there we go, we've got some vision now. Oh, we've lined up just fine, actually. Not an issue. Um, so, Cav. Oh, it's a much longer line than I thought. Now, there seems to be, have their general right there. If we just, like, smash that, interesting. But, what I'm going to do is going to put... Um, I'm going to group these Cavs up as number Great group formation. one. We're going to pop you on the uh, flank there. Um, you guys, mm, they're very, very close to spears. We'll tr see if we can tie up the spear unit and then go on. So if we want a longer line, we're going to take these swordsmen. And then uh, stretch it. Uh, maybe like so. Whereas we've got these hop lights. Select you, select you as well. So much maneuvering going on. Stretch these lines out a little bit more as well. 
Oh, he's a little bit off center though, but mm, it's fine. When we start running to correct that, it's not an issue. So lots and lots of slingers. So what we want to do is, where, where's their range? I can't actually see it. Um, we're going to push the skirmisher line back. As we've done that, we're going to send the cavalry around to hit them. Because uh, obviously we're going to keep running until they get behind their lines. Um, but we're going to try and close that gap as soon as possible with the infantry. And then um, attack them with the the um, cavalry. So, yep, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to select everyone. Still got a unit of thorax swords. Can move you up. Just going to punch a hole through there. But we need to engage that unit first. Can use you guys to also start flanking as well. So we'll have a unit of swords in reserve in the center. There we go. Select everyone. Just give them a, a group attack order. Melee cavalry ready. Riders at the double. General. Move the general up. Melee cavalry. Oh, they're waiting to get in sync and then walk up. Right, all right, I see what's going on. It's fine. Skirmishers, soak up the fire. Run! Move the cavalry up. General, General move you up. Run away. As they're going to start engaging us, um, we're going to have to do an actual attack order. Cool. They've left it open for our cavalry to sweep on in. Charge them. Um, we do have the high ground. If we can assassinate their general, that'll be great. I'd like to support with some infantry though. There you go. Skirmishers are now around. Oh, javelins. Let's just pull you back a little bit because you are right on the front lines there. Like, not where you're supposed to be. Cool. Cavalry are oh, running around. Sneaking through the trees there. Seems to slow their movement, actually. But that's fine. It's going to give us more opportunity to um, ambush them. There you go. Hoplite's going to go help you out. Again, not a lot of zooming in. There's just a lot to manage. So I do apologize about that. There's tons to manage. Let's move the general up. There we go. They're going to start breaking their skirmishes. Nice. Just making sure they're not trying to use some spears to attack us. But we've broken what we can. We'll try and mop up what we can as well, but we just want to get rid of all these skirmishes here. The javelins, again, you're on the front line for whatever reason. Let's pull you back slightly. Um, may need some reinforcements this side. Uh, let's come on in. You guys can start flanking now. Uh, you're out of ammo. Just get out there now. Haven't killed their general yet, and their spearmen are returning, so I need to watch out for that. Um, see if we can just break this unit with a massive charge. 
pull out the rest of you. So as they're really wavering, so I thought that would help break them. Yep, that's broken. How many is he at? 89. Um, if we group up and charge, uh, we've got a swordsman unit that can help out as well. We'd like to mop up as much as we can, really. Ooh, you're not going to win that fight, so let's fall back with you. Uh, but the old armies are all routing now. Uh, let's get our general involved now in terms of attacking. Uh, where is the other general? Uh, continue. I don't know if he's grouped up or is he left behind. No, he was not. Uh, swords, yep, just skirmishers, do your thing. You're going to want to break these guys as soon as possible. That was a fairly successful battle. Not too much lost at the end there, which is good. But again, our veterancy quality um, of arms and armor, and obviously our training or experience in, as a whole, seems to have triumphed the day. So we are just mopping up the survivors here. Make sure each cab has got a attack order at least. Uh, we can just speed it up there. Just try and mop what we can up. Get the veterancy up as well. Because every man we don't kill here is going to resist us at the uh, in the city, I imagine. So if we just take out all the garrison and everyone straight away, we shouldn't have to siege it. We should be able to just take it. We'll take it out anyway without any complications. Well, it would be a cheeky ultra resolve, I imagine. But that's all oh, mercenary Spear Brothers. And they are dead. Uh, I think we can leave it there. Okay, there we go. Successful battle. What a way to start the episode. Take a look at the... Uh, troops, so they deployed 5,000, we had 4,849, so a little bit outnumbered, but again, quality trumps their um, shitty quality, um, or quantity is what I was trying to say. Um, so we're going to go release the captives just so we can I'm keep our income up, because we, we are, oh, we're in a huge deficit, where is that coming from? Um, At your command. Maybe use you guys to attack. Yeah, like I said, all resolve, not an issue. Uh, protect the stance. Boom, taking their capital yet again. Nice. And we're going to convert that over to that. Uh, grain market. Mm, gives us wealth, though. Does give us wealth. Mm, we need the food as well. Mm, interesting. Uh, but we have to convert that over, though, ASAP. All right. We are able to replenish now, luckily enough. Um, we are going to pop down here. To your duties, main. I don't think there's another army here, so we're gonna. Shall we force march? Can you make it to Octodurion? Oh, you can. You beautiful people. Um, oh, we can need to do this. Give a consecrated ground there, convert that over as well. Boom, and that sort of prevents the rebellion building up anyway. So, all things considered, not too bad. Um, still got 14, alright. Oh, we, oh, we have, haven't ended the turn yet. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we really looked at diplomacy. I don't think there's anyone that wants to chill out. Let's see if they want peace. They didn't want it before. But now, oh, nope. Still, still admin that can beat us. Interesting. All right, all right. Um, pirates. I have little gain. Nope. Uh, and then obviously we have war with the um, successionists here. So doesn't seem like they're recruiting though. So that's lovely. Uh, we will end the turn here, I think. Let's end it there. I must say, really enjoying the mod. It's been a lot of fun. The AI seems smarter, 100%. You know, um, battles are a lot more intense, I would think. Um, unless we've got, obviously, superior like numbers and quality, then it's like, right. But look at this. The wars are still going on. Um, someone seems to be ambushing here. Um, our diplomacy game, like I said, has been quite strong. So we've been able to uh, peace out with all their allies. So they haven't been able to attack us. Um, we're going to use a spy here because I think there was another army right here. 
Uh, hmm. So there might be an ambush stance, but not, not being able to see them. Interesting. Steal some food. Steal the food. Oh, we are replenishing. I wouldn't mind if they attacked us for a change, because then we'll have the, the walls to defend ourselves. Um, a little less so over here. So in, in that case, we're going to want to get a um, hoplite unit there. Um, we have another army coming on down to help us out. There we go. So that built up its public order. And there we go. Uh, we go for Temple Poseidon there. Um, we'll sit here for now. Maybe bait them. Make them attack us. But doubt it. Um, but we'll keep that going for now. I know there's lots of upgrades we can do throughout the Empire. But we're still... Um, in a precarious situation with all these wars and things going on. Um, we're going to get normal stance to you. Um, let's attack you. Uh, continue siege. Six turns until they surrender. I may siege them out actually. I don't want to fight them on the um, city. But just in case, we'll we'll build those up anyway. But we'll we're not in any rush to deal with it. They're not recruiting another army or anything, so it's fine. Um, this army's not really doing us much good, but it's not strong enough to take that out. Well, we might be able to hire some mercenaries. Hold on. Um, maybe with the mercenaries, we'll take a look. Um, just yeah, get whatever we can. Uh, normal stance. We cannot follow this order. Nice. Oh, it's got a little uh, squid icon. I like that. Commander. I'm sort of rewatching Game of Thrones, so which reminds me of the Greyjoys. Ready for battle. I'm on, currently on season four now. Yeah, I've been binge watching it, you know, on my Commander. off days. But yeah, it's been good. Oh, we're plus two, but we managed to take those guys out. So yeah, we wait for them to um, sally forth and then attack us out. Six turns is fine. We're building ladders anyway. If we change our mind. So yeah, but again, I'm sort of more focused on winning this war because there's tons of tons of armies just floating about. Um, but yeah, let's do a end turn. Now oh, I've got some agents. Don't kill my spy. As long as I don't kill my spy, it's okay. Oh, oh they are pushing. Three and a half stacks. Or well, two and a half stacks. Um, are they? Are they yeah, they are fighting us out. Yeah, good. So it's, it's what I wanted them to do. Um, a little bit more of a heavy hitting force. This more hoplites, marches. It's just nice that they're attacking us for a change. Um, what do we have? Our, our garrison army is broken, but that's not an issue. Let's look at the auto resolve. Yeah. Oh, we will fight this one. Alright, so we are getting our room for. Oh, nice wet day. Um, no heels to speak of. Because, I mean, that's, it's just too close to the red line. I don't want to black camp, you know. Because um, that's not fair, is it? Um. So, uh, our reinforcements coming from this side. Very, very flat, alright. Um, <laughs> that's all we can do. We we'll wait for them to attack us. Um, we've got our general here, which is not um, a on a horse, interested. Um, anyway, we'll bring up our spears and then bring the swords. Um, on. This is a bit damaged, so we'll do that. Uh, you are kind of broken though. Do that as well. Uh, 
Oh, what is your uh, can't tell your range? Can I? No. Um, I think it's sort of the same as normal archers. I don't know if you can shoot over. Just in case you can't, I'm just gonna pop you in front first. Cav on the side. General back here. Yeah. Give him a shield wall. Start the battle. Wait for reinforcements to come on. Enemy reinforcements approaching. So is ours. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with those garrison troops. Keeping it simple. Melee troops at your service. Orders. Ready and waiting. Ready for orders. Melee troops awaiting orders. Yours to command. Commander. These horse skirmishes, the air skirmish cab. Not a fan of those. You lot can sort of just sit on the general to protect him. Um, seem to have some swordsmen as well. Speed up while everyone's getting into position. Surprised they're still marching towards us, but it's right. So yeah, all these guys can just sit and protect the uh, the general in case they start uh, trying to shoot him to bits. Uh, do we have a ski on as well? We do. So you guys, I want you to sit on that side just to hold the uh, this front line here. I can actually move you up slightly. Um, Take a look at the um, tactical map here. Hmm. All right. Archers, archers. So they're gonna have a little bit more armor penetration than the slingers. Slingers got more range though. Missile infantry ready. But I'm hoping these um, these guys will be able to. Oh wait, there we go. I need that. Ready, oh. ready and waiting. There we go. The range is 110. It's far less than archers. 125. Yeah. So, it's, but you do more damage overall. Don't have anything to counter their skirmisher cav, unfortunately. These are just normal miscellaneous cavalry. Yours to command. Shouldn't be a high threat. By your command. And we've got javelins on our swords as well. Cool, we are now skirmishing. Crossbows, fire! Oh, decimated that unit. Fantastic work, thank you guys. Superior archers. Crossbows for the win. Could do loose formation, but I'm not going to because it's harder to um, manage. Especially when they spread out and start going towards them. And they're not going to shoot or reload while they're doing that. So we'll just stay at B for now. Um, if you can sh shoot their skirmishers instead, appreciate that. Let's just reselect them. Like, forget the infantry, we'll smash them. It's just the skirmishers that I don't like playing around with. Mm. 
Redraw the line. guys on that. Uh, they seem to be charging now. Let's bring you guys back. We'll see if they can shoot over. Might be able to, might not. Cool, let's help out our hoplites. Need to protect this flank though, for sure. Um, the militia, just to protect the archers. <laughs> Uh, did you throw your javelins? I think you might have. Archers, can you shoot over? Oh, you can, thank you. That's fantastic. I wasn't 100% sure if they would or not. But we can still hit them from afar. They are probing our defenses with the cav. It's alright, it's alright. Chill out, chill out. Very long initial skirmish phase. Uh, let's probably push you guys up slightly. Charge him, counter charge. You guys just keep doing what you're doing though. Maybe support with you guys as well. Let's get our cav into position now, start flanking around. Move you guys up, move the general up with these supreme excellent bodyguards. Smash those marines to bits. Managing to repel their cavalry, which is good. Oh, they're breaking. Keep going, keep going. Give them another charge there, maybe. Uh, swordsmen should be able to repel this. I'll uh, just get the archers out of there, though. Uh, left flank, there's just tons of cavalry there. Gotta be careful. Um, let's bring in our cav. Form you guys up. Do a little splinter force against those skirmishers. Rest of you hit that cavalry. Let's splinter force, keep going. Left flank is trying to hold as best they can. Try and support them where we can. How's the general? He's doing alright. Try and throw him in there a bit. Help support. Hit, hit the general unit actually right over there. All of you, keep going. Uh, you guys need to keep pushing, get rid of their skirmishes, because the more men we take out, the lower the whole group's morale, so... Um, help, the, help the cavalry, help the go against the cavalry. Poor militia. There we go, we're now engaging their skirmishes at the back line. 
Got some spears though on our tail. We'll try and push him back. Susan Cav sort of sacrificing themselves, holding it off against that. How are we doing against the generals? You know, not too bad. Not amazing either. This is just a much higher quality tier army that we're going up against. Um, so we can fall back with you. And we also have not as good infantry and stuff, so that's also why. These guys are exhausted. We are only winded. Some are fresh, so we should be able to have those lancers quite nicely. Quite nicely. Um, skirmishes. Yep, just keep shooting them. Only 30 lances left. Cool. Just break out that way. Just charge into the back of those guys. Let's get some. Nice. To help relieve his left flank. How's our general doing? He's fine. He's fine. 140 men left in his unit. That's not too bad. Let's um, try and get out. Uh, cool. Just need to break this last unit. How are we doing overall? Unit of swordsmen. Yep, if we can go this way. Let's get the cab out because this is our most important asset right now. Um, everyone. Cool, we've got some main breakage going on. Just need to help relieve the allies here. Um, let's bring it this way and charge on in that flank there. Oh, getting caught by some swordsmen. They are shaken though. Are these marines? Yeah, not too worried about them. Oh, there's more troops coming on in. Some more skirmishes. If we can break this. Might mm, They are exhausted. There we go. They are breaking there now. Good. We lost a lot of our cavalry force. But it didn't, there wasn't much else we could do really. The counter charge was a bit um, not that well organized, I'll give you that. Uh, let's get the cab out here, you need to mop down all these troops, so let's get out of here, just keep going. Alright, uh, one can disband you, uh, it's just been you lot, um, start going off them. We'll have to run down as many of these guys as we can though. Or well, they're just going to come back. Stab them. Got two units of cav on that one, that's crazy. Let's go for these full units here. Uh, as long as all our cavalry, we've only got two horses, two men left on this unit. Now, these archers are pretty cool as well, but we are getting rid of them. That was crazy how well we managed to defeat them. Couple of large battles so far. It's a big blob of men there, 153, go kill that. No, they're starting to waver. Just got no one left in their unit. Alright, I think we can end it there.
Okay, there we go. Oh, we lost that unit, unfortunately. Anything else that we lose? No. Um, people got tons and tons of experience, which is nice. Um, so we deployed 6,000. Oh, they deployed 6,313. They lost 4,247. We deployed 5,585. We uh, managed to capture 888 and decimating a lot of their force here. So not too shabby at all. We are going to just release them to get that sweet 3k. And then we'll obviously push on and destroy them. Uh, should be auto results. We've now been able to push to Patavium. This army can go down towards... Um, oh, they're coming out to attack us. For some reason, we're not getting our reinforcements. Why are we not reinforcing here? Retreat! That was a bit weird. We'll re-siege that with armies nearby. Seems to be a bit of a mistake. That's fine. Uh, the champions... Oh, someone died. I'm not too sure why. Um, do we lose a general? Uh, turn them away. Research. Oh yeah, I haven't even looked at research in a while. Um, I think we're going down that, yeah. Construction. Why not? Uh, hold up, hold up. Oh, 2,000. Don't know why that is. <clears throat> Alright, you uh, siege him. Bringing this army right on top of that army. There we go. We Let them cower like kennel uh, dogs. I think we're just gonna have to do this. Don't want to, but just in case something weird happens. Need to get rid of these mercenaries as well because they're expensive. Commander. Boom! Another faction we destroyed. Hunger for we hunger for battle. Uh, we'll disband you guys. Oh, and you disband. Thank you. There we go. Getting a bit of a more of an income now. We obviously will retrain Commander. as is needed. Um, probably more up here though. And then you, I think, can disband entirely. There we go, save us some money. We'll now press on. You guys can merge together though. At your command. Move you up so you can actually reinforce. For glory and honor. Or to resolve this one. Release captives. Yep, again for that money. At your command. How big is your garrison? Eleven. Commander. Um. Let them cower like cattle dogs. We take the siege to the settlement. Just wait for the other army to get there. All to resolve. Again, balance stance. Take the tobium. Nice, I'll get rid of that. Upgrade food here, yep. Bit of a bread basket, this uh, province. You should be able to go down just fine. Balance stance. There we go, we're one province away from taking Rome. Nice. Oh, lots of food, yeah. Uh, but we're going to have to get rid of this. Just so we can get a temple up and running sooner rather than later. Move the spy up to Rome itself. Alright. Wait for that spy to go down. <clears throat> oh, Brent's clear. 19, though. Alright, that's fine. Um, I think that's where I'm going to wrap things up for now. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and a comment down below. And subscribe to see more Total War content right here on the channel. And I'll check you guys out in the next video.